Thank you. Please sit down. You don't know how the set's gonna go. <laughs> Woo! New York City, we back open. <laughs> wow. Man, I went out last night and I've been hungover uh, for years. <laughs> Here's a little secret. When I was 13, growing up in Puerto Rico, I almost drowned. Don't worry, I made it. Uh, <laughs> But that's the second scariest thing that's ever happened to me, because last week, a stranger got in a revolving door with me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, if you're not laughing, I assume you're a terrorist, because that's not what we do in this country. <laughs> it was a circular one, like the four quarter ones, and I walked in real confident, like I'd used it before, and midway through, it jammed. And I heard a voice that was not mine. I heard the voice go, what's the holdup? I was just like, miss, you're the hold up. Who let you in here? <laughs> it's a one person wedge. We all learned this. It's real basic. And the lady got real nervous because she turned around and tried to push the doors the other way. But that's not how those doors work, is it? So I had to like, hey, focus, like gather back in the right. <laughs> but to anybody who saw us, we just looked like a couple who needed a moment. <laughs> like we were arguing and this was the only quiet place we could find. Man, I caught my first flight since BCVD, uh, and people still flying tight. Like, people are flying like our parents used to fly, like efficient. Like, nobody's just, like, flying for funsies. Like, you better have a purpose. Everybody boarded quickly. Nobody made eye contact. They were just like, Fauci didn't say we can get it through the eyes, but what do I know? So just like, <laughs> buckle up and let's go, like that. I didn't think we were gonna make it because the dude flying the plane was walking around the terminal slouching. <laughs> I know he's called a pilot, but he didn't have pilot energy. You know what I mean? That's a cool job. Pop your chest up, believe in yourself. <laughs> the dude was just walking around just like, I guess we'll try this again, like that. Mm-mm. <laughs> your carry-on look empty. You look like you ain't trying to land. If you're a pilot, you're better than us. Show it. That's one of the few jobs you can brag and we just have to take it. It's like, like pro athletes, not golfers, but like the other ones. <laughs> the people making Girl Scout cookies and pilots, the only ones we trust. <laughs> the scariest part was we were all seated, everybody had that nervous energy, and right before we pulled back, the pilot jumped on the microphone and he was like, um, this is your captain, Robert. I was like, um. Wait a minute, you open with um? Dude, you can't be hesitant, not right now. We told you we on edge. Captain Robert, nah, you Bobby. I did witness real maternal love on the flight, which is always dope. I love that. I don't have a kid, but I love when a parent like gets defensive and just like hoaxes up and just like, no, I made this one, step back. This is what happened. I'll never forget it. I was seated in 26A because I have status. Um, <laughs> dude next to me, 26C, not with me. Very important, Jimmy. Uh, baby crying, 24A. Baby's crying. Dude next to me just goes, huh? I hope this baby doesn't cry the whole time. But, but he said it loud enough like he was hoping that the baby might hear. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That the baby might go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was nap nap time. I'll keep it down. Dude says that baby doesn't respond, but who does respond is the mother of this baby. So 26C goes, I hope the baby doesn't cry the whole time. And then we just hear an angelic voice from 24A go, what mother flubber, you don't cry? <laughs> and it was the most logical thing I've ever heard on how to defend a baby. <laughs> People don't like babies crying because they gotta do it in public while the rest of us have to wait for a shower. I tip my hat to parents after this year. This past year, man, that stress was different. Just on virtual learning alone. I was hel I've been helping my niece out because she recently found out I only work 15 or 20 minutes a night. <laughs> She's like, oh, this guy got some time! Ah. And it's stressful because before, as a parent, I imagined if your kid got a bad grade, you would go, hey, what happened? Did you not study? 
who taught you? But now this blame go 50-50. <laughs> so like now your kid got a bad grade, you don't have a dumb kid, we a dumb family. Puerto Rico lo amo, ni una más ni una menos. Have a good night, guys. My name is Earl Perez.